I want to, to take the car for a test drive. And it's a lot in the way. This trailer and then this car. So before I do all this effort in order to be able to drive my car out, I'm just gonna, gonna see if it's actually working at least a bit before I, yeah. Let's move all this stuff. A lot of work just to take out the car. I need to wash my hands. Let's um, go for a test drive. Just take it, take the car out for a test. See if uh, things are working. I have my laptop. I'm gonna check if it's charging and uh, Dubai. You're still there. You've been watching me wash my car. Yeah, it's not much else to do, I think, today. Today was kind of just to check. The car is working, it's charging. I haven't checked that much, really, but it's working. The brakes are working. The throttle is working. Yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna, I have uh, reorganized um, the space. So now, Eric's 90 is in the corner, or not in the corner, in the middle. And I plan to have mine here because I'm not sure when he's gonna. I guess he's not gonna do anything special to this this weekend, the last, the, the next couple of days. And I want mine more available, kind of to drive out when I want. I plan to to take it for a proper, more proper test uh, drive and uh, like kind of hopefully discover something because. If something is, I hope that something will happen. If something is gonna happen, I hope it will happen on a test drive. I mean, that's why I do it um, instead of it happening on the dyno the next time I will go to the dyno or it happening, I don't know, on a track or something. So let's see on the next part. So now it's been a few days. I have to check if this is if it's recording the sound. Um, it's been a few days now from previous clip and today we're gonna try to go for a new test drive in the Mark 1 and fingers crossed, toes, all the fingers, all the toes, everything cross everything because 
I think I need it. So it's been, since it's been a few days, I don't remember if I actually recorded me moving this, but it was a pain in there. It was a fucking pain to, to move it, but it's some space. So I think I found a technique, some kind of technique. Since, since we are in Mexico, no, my bad, since we are going to Mexico, I mean, the, the car is like it started on first try, which is rare. Usually I have to, to try a few times, like, and then, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. But I usually don't show all of the tries when I try to start it. But now it started on first, which is, I don't know. It's a good sign. I have uh, made kind of a arrange an arrangement with uh, some friends and well, at least one because I want to try to take some uh, photos, hopefully like rolling shots of this car since it would be awesome to have rolling shots in uh, in Mexico. Yeah, what else? I'm a bit early because it's not the, the one which is uh, morning. What's early bird? Like morning. I don't know if he's a morning person, but I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do now is to um, to grab some tools to bring along. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna drive in the in the area. I'm not gonna be very far, but it's you know it's very typical that at least because okay, I've always had uh, Volkswagens or Audis just because my influence came from my dad, and when I grew up, he had a B5 A4. And, and it was tuned. It had some few stages of um, tuning, allegedly tuning. And um, what was I gonna say? Fuck, what, what was this? What was... Uh, I don't even remember what my, my point... It was some point or some stories. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this car, uh, when I used it, usually uh, at the end, it had gone 340,000 kilometers, which is in freedom units and so in the end i had the car and i was driving around and i always had my tools with me not uh, <laughs> because it was so typical that it broke down Bro something broke when i was out driving if i didn't have the tools but if i had the tools with me it was always okay so i'm using the same um, science or same uh, believe here also so I'm just not gonna bring a lot but you know a few screwdriver and such just in case yeah what else I feel like it was something else I was gonna say also I now I remember what I was gonna say because on this channel it's not like for me it's a huge amount of people who are watching uh, but yeah how I'm gonna phrase this for me it's a like in the sense of YouTube this channel is almost non-existing but in the sense of me I think I passed 900 or something subscribers which is huge and yeah what I was, what I was gonna say is that sometimes I get statistics from YouTube and it says that there is like uh, the majority usually who are watching this these types of videos are from United States. I think I'm gonna maybe make a video about this topic. Is that in United States, I have this sense that in Florida, like when it comes to cars, everything is allowed, like basically everything in Florida. And California is kind of on, on the opposite side of the spectrum, from from at least from the perspective of the YouTubers I sometimes watch. But the thing is, and it's like California is so strict and such, but from the perspective of at least Norwegians, California is is not. They are they are not strict at all. <laughs> if you put it into my perspective, because a lot of the stuff which is uh, not legal to do modifications, which are not legal to do in uh, California, is like you can only dream of. The, we have had these laws for so many years, and it's actually. Just a few recent years, we in Norway we have been allowed to actually do some modifications, um, like proper builds to cars. Just like I don't, 
I don't know what I was gonna say, but like California, it's maybe strict to you, but to us, it's like a dream. I would love to have the same laws when it comes to modifications of cars as in California. If you come to Norway, I will we can have a conversation and I can tell you how how strict it is. Don't from our perspective, it's like I don't complain. I, I understand it. You, you can't complain, but. It's all about perspective, I guess. So, what now? I'm gonna drink some coffee, get some tools and stuff, put it in the car, charge my bad computer, and uh, maybe I will wait for a friend to come, or at least make sure that I can call one of them before I go off. Let's start with coffee and tools. Looks good. It looks kind of badass. So, I'm testing the car in uh, Mexico and it's actually working pretty, pretty well. There has been um, actually no problems at all. There is some noises and some sounds which I'm gonna check out, like, like the whole car is shaking, I, I mean, not the... Uh, not like in, in necessarily a bad way, it's just, I think almost it's like just project car, <laughs> project car uh, com comfort, which is non-existing. Yeah, what else? Been taking some, some photos, or not me, mostly uh, my friend with uh, the Sony, Sony camera. taking some rollers uh, yeah I mean 
the car actually works and it's drivable and it's um, I mean sometimes it's hard to start it takes a lot of tries but it starts and couldn't be couldn't be more happy I think so but yeah there is a like a noise from it seems like from the rear um, so suspension um, and it doesn't it it sounds like almost like a zip tie which is around the drive shaft or something which is like hitting something like tch, 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 tch. it's a very small not the loud sound and it doesn't sound bad like dangerous but it sounds like something uh, which is should be fixed that's the update for now